Yeah, hey, Andy, these two teams, perennial powers in Class A, but they haven't met since 2013, which seems a little bit odd. Well, tonight, certainly living up to the billing, four years in the making. Let's check out the highlights of this one. Burke, the number one top seed coming into the season. Millard West, the two seed in the tournament. First quarter, 7-0 Millard West when Tyler Chadwick, third and 24, hits Chris Hickman for a 38-yard touchdown, and we're tied at midway through the first. Tie game fourth and three for Millard West now. Giovanni Guido drops back, finds Austin Harris for a 22-yard touchdown pass. They'd hook up twice in the game, 14-7 Cats after one. Tied late in the half now as Guido on the scramble. Three touchdown runs, two touchdown passes for him, and the Wildcats are up 21-14 to at the half. They would stretch their lead to 34-14 to in the third quarter, and that's when Burke starts to come back. James Burks with a touchdown around the end for 24 yards, and the Cats are back within 13. Now down by just nine, and it's Burks again. 26 more yards, and the Bulldogs are within two after a field goal by Millard West. The Bulldogs one more chance with 26 seconds remaining, and James Burks punches it in. Omaha Burke erases a 20-point deficit in the second half and seals it on this one-handed interception by Chris Hickman. Burke is moving on. We wanted to move forward and do something that we couldn't do. And we showed out and showed everyone that it's never over until clocks hit, hit zero. Hey, really satisfying. I mean, hey, our coach told us what they were going to do. They were going to come out and fight. Hey, we just had to come out, play with ET, and fight harder than they did. I'm just unbelievably happy for our players. The guts they showed tonight was something I've never seen in all my years of coaching. Um, we talk about playing to the to the last second and we talk about finishing for nine months and, and they did so tonight. Yeah, Coach Lamangi there talking about how at halftime in the locker room, James Burke said, I just want the ball. They fed him the rock, five touchdown runs in this contest and the Bulldogs, Andy, still alive for their first state championship in program history. Reporting live here at Buell Stadium, Thor Tripp, KETV News, Watch 7 Sports. All right.